Oh, you got a copy of it. Hey, this is Jeff Wick, editor of the Fayette County Record newspaper. As you can see behind you, the new copies of the paper are getting unloaded off of the truck here. Uh, is it uh, only 6,000 copies of the paper? They're in here being all packaged up for delivery. We got the first copy right here and presented to Kristen with Budget Blind. Hey, thank right. you so much for joining us. No problem. You're the first person in Fayette County to get your hands on the new copy of the Fayette County Record. And she's got a mobile budget blinds, uh, what do you call it, showroom, office, mobile showroom, mobile showroom. showroom outside. Why don't we head out there? We'll tell her about some of the uh, uh, things you can find uh, in this edition of the Fayette County Record and then talk about uh, budget blinds. Hey. Now this has got to be one of the greatest offices uh, around. Uh, look at this uh, amazing budget blind showroom. Are you getting that on camera there, Bobby? Um, why don't, uh, Kristen, let's... Before we uh, dive into the world of blinds, let's uh, talk a little bit about some of the things you and uh, the other readers can find in this edition of the Fayette County Record. Poncho, you want to uh, oh, yeah. first come in on some of these things? I have the uh, replica of Vietnam Wall over in Silver. A great turnout. And we've got a story about that. Big deal, they're having a meeting tonight <laughs> at the. Uh, uh, no, the, uh, the uh, petition is being circulated to create a taxing district for St. Mark's Hospital, um, which would uh, generate property tax revenue to go to fund uh, the hospital, which is uh, currently kind of experiencing some uh, financial difficulties. So uh, really interesting uh, issue to watch, uh, you know, as, as that uh, uh, progresses. Yeah, uh, Barnwood Builders folks do uh, timber frame construction mm -hmm. very trendy and they've got a new location out on 237 north of Round Top and they went out to Winedale because they've got a bunch of timber frame buildings out there. Wait a minute now you're, oh, sorry. you're gonna <laughs> you've got that story committed to memory don't you? And, uh, <laughs> Fayetteville about the Fayetteville election they've got a lot of people running for office all the uh, grand and reserve champions from the Fayette County Junior Livestock Show and uh, the extensive list of buyers uh, uh, also in this edition of the paper. How much do you think the uh, grand champion steer went for? Any guesses? Any guesses? 5000 Any guesses, Kristen? Higher or lower than 5000 Higher. A lot higher. $14,000 for that grand champion That's steer. That's a good meat there. Um, of course, uh, extensive uh, look at all the sports. Uh, in Fayette County from over the weekend, lots of baseball and softball action, soccer and track. Soccer, the new football. Now this girl right here may be your future replacement, Pancho. A 12-year-old LaGrange girl is the author of a new book. She's going to have a book signing this weekend. I so. doubt she'll work cheaper than I <laughs> <laughs> And a uh, ton of other stuff in this uh, edition of the Fayette County Record, but let's turn our attention from uh, 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 the newspaper to the world of blinds. and. Uh, uh, Kristen, budget blinds, and actually, uh, before we, uh, you know, get you speaking about it, uh, budget blinds, always a regular advertiser here in the paper. Uh, in this edition, interior plantation shutters uh, as part of their big shutter sale. But, um, yeah, Kristen, budget blinds, it, it's kind of an innovative take on, you know, the old, uh, you know, you go somewhere and look at a showroom. Y'all are really kind of a mobile business, right? Absolutely. We bring everything to your house or your business and your place because that's where the colors need to be picked out anyway. So that's why we haul it all with us and show up wherever you need us to and measure everything for you and install it for you and take good. care of it. <laughs> and then speaking of the things you haul around here, yeah, let's walk well. around to the back. And uh, uh, when you say you bring all this stuff, you really do. Uh, this thing is packed with samples. All right, we're back. <laughs> the vagrancies of live video, folks. But uh, so, Kristen, yeah, talk a little bit about the, you know, the the things you can bring out to somebody's home and, and show them, uh, you know, on site to really uh, coordinate uh, somebody's sure. choices. Sure. What's so that's a plantation shutter. That's called a plantation shutter. That's part of our shutter sale in April. And there's a lot of choices, so this sample is... Hey, we're back. Yeah, okay, we're back. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it inside. Okay. You need some up-carrying stuff in? Or I'll just take these two. We'll try. We'll try this. 
Yeah, we've, we've got an audience in here now. Um, <laughs> right over there. Okay. Oh. Hey, Jeff. 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 They roll up nice and tight, so everybody out here that has a wonderful view of land is wonderful to get those up and out of the mm. way. Plantation shutters, part of our sale in April. There are tons of colors, tons of choices. You have lots of choices. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. we, uh, so you measure at the site. Yes. And you have all your samples there so people yes. can go through them. And go through them, we pick them out. Suggestions, if they need suggestions, that's what we're there for. And, and, then, and then you install them. We install them, we do it all. You just have to point. Just tell us where to go. <laughs> what are what are some uh, real popular choices these days? You know, are a lot of people going towards the plantation shutters? Yes. Or? So shutters are one of our number one products. Roller shades are also very popular. They're not like the old style vinyl ones. Mm. Um, there are a lot of other color choices and a lot of stylish options. Um, and then ways we can dress it up from there. So these are two of our most frequent, frequently put in installed products right now and probably for the past two years really? yeah now from from the time somebody maybe calls y'all to mm -hmm. come out for a consultation to actually things getting installed mm -hmm. what, what sort of time frame are we, are we talking about shutters have a whole different type of lead time than most of our other products most of our other products are from the day we come out and measure and you say okay we're ready to roll it'd be about two to three weeks mm -hmm. most of the time shutters are going to be more about six weeks or so depending on the, the you know the vendor we use and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff um, from the time of order to the time of install and uh, come with excellent warranties depending on what, what brand we end up using. Um, so, does that help? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, if somebody's interested in, uh, uh, you know, contacting y'all and beginning this process, what would they do? So, picking up the phone, calling us at our office. I've got an office manager, Melissa, that's awesome and loves to run me around like crazy. So, <laughs> she'll put you on my schedule and... Uh, Catherine is my other consultant that does very, very well, um, that has another budget blinds vehicle that you'll see. And call us, we'll get you on the schedule. We can come out usually pretty quick and uh, get, you, get you taken care of. Um, in terms of uh, hours and phone mm -hmm. number, uh, mm -hmm. what are all those details? So phone number 979-542-0700 is our direct office line. And um, usually we're in the office 9 to 5, 9 to five thirty, somewhere in there answering phones. Um, if you call us after hours, that's okay. You can just leave a message and then we'll get back to you the next day and, or the next business day and get back to you and get you on our schedule as quickly as we can. And uh, how far, like what's the range? How far out will y'all go? We go pretty far. We drive, uh, <laughs> we go Shiner, uh, Gonzales, Seguin, all that direction and then up towards Austin that way. And uh, Round Top, we go to Round Top and north to Lexington, right about there. That's about our territory. Mm. So we service all of that. And you've been in business about five years. Well, we have been in business almost five years now. Um, Brian and I started it, and we've got a few employees working for us now, so we've grown a little bit. Uh, about to move into a bigger office space, warehouse space. Really? So um, we've got plenty of room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just kind of take a closer look at some of these things. Lots of different color choices. Which one do you like? Just stop me, Jeff. <laughs> stop. Got those are very popular. No, those aren't as popular. <laughs> stop there. <laughs> some of these are pretty popular, have a lot of texture to them. We've got a lot of choices. These are some of the more popular ones in contemporary houses. Which ones? Right in there. Yeah. yeah. Right in there. Yeah. Some of those colors are pretty good. Jeff, you just moved into a new house. We did move into a new house, and uh, I think my wife may be contacting <laughs> y'all because she was uh, just the other day talking about our windows and uh, needing to upgrade. So, Nobody uh, likes being in a fishbowl. <laughs> and look who just came in fresh uh, from a uh, fire call, Andy Balin. I think uh, you might still be smoking there, Andy. Uh, what's the what's the latest news from that uh, incident? Uh, no, it wasn't, wasn't that much of a fire. It was uh, a woman who lives out east of town on 71. Her gas stove was leaking, and when she was cooking lunch, uh, it ignited. The gas ignited, and uh, uh, so she called the fire department. But uh, while the firefighters were on their way out there, she found some baking soda and threw it on the threw it on the fire and put it out. So that 
quick thinking probably saved her some damage to her house. So. It's a good thing she was so quick thinking or it might have been curtains for her. <laughs> ah. <you see? laughs> Um, well, Kristen, anything else you'd want people to know about budget blinds? Or just, we're locally owned and operated, we'll come to you, we'll bring everything to you, try to make it as easy as possible on, on whoever gives us a call, and we we'll like to take care of our customers, so we'd love for you to give us a call. Awesome. Well, hey, well, thank you so much uh, for coming out here, and uh, of course, we apologize for the technical difficulties, as our online uh, uh, editor was uh, was out on scene, so uh, but we got through it, and... Um, yeah, Andy, you want to take us out? Sure thing. Well, uh, you can always find us at FayetteCountyRecord.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all these videos go to YouTube as well. So thanks so much for watching, and thanks for reading. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.